Hey guys, I'm Josh with Pocket Yacht Company. We're here today on the Ranger Tugs 31 sedan. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice when you step on the Ranger 31 is this beautiful uh, swim platform. It's got the rails all the way around. It's a very, very safe place to sit and lounge and enjoy the water. Um, but it's wide open space for you to entertain and also to get on and off the boat. We have the uh, swim ladder that lifts up and, and folds down. Very easy to get back on the boat after enjoying some time in the water. And coming forward, as you get into the cockpit area, uh, one of the things about the Ranger Tugs that makes them such great boats is there's so much space for seating, so much space for entertaining. So we have this rear seat and bench, the table uh, for enjoying a nice eating meal. And on both sides of the boat, you see these, uh, these seats, they fold out. So when they're stowed position, that's what they look like. And then as you can see over here, they fold out over the side. Uh, this is a permanent fixed hard top for folks that like to stay outside of the sun. Nice shaded area on the entire cockpit. Uh, you have some vents in the overhead, which are great for allowing some breeze to come through and just kind of help circulate the air when you're out enjoying your boat and entertaining. Um, and then as we go forward, we see there's a nice sink here with access to your fresh water. Wash your hands and really accessible outside of the cabin or the salon. You got the uh, power control panel and then these are some courtesy lights to go around the outside of the gunnels. Refrigerator, you can store beverages and, and food and snacks for entertaining guests and friends. A few things that immediately should jump out at you, we have this propane fired cooktop and oven. And you can bake cookies, enjoy a nice dinner. Lots of countertop and preparation space. We've got the dual sinks uh, with hot and cold water. The storage compartments for dishes and for all of your, your uh, utensils and napkins and plates. Lots of good cold storage space for uh, for your food and also you have uh, trays to make ice. So on the port side, uh, as you come into the salon, you'll see that we have power distribution panel. It's gonna have the switches and breakers for all of your um, accessories on board, air conditioning, all of your pumps, your refrigerator, bilges, very easily accessible to anybody, whether you're driving the boat or you're just walking about the cabin. Very spacious, lots of room, two people can very comfortably sleep in there. So this flips up and this is your day head. So, when you're out and about cruising around, folks don't have to traipse through the entire boat to access the head. All right, as we continue forward, uh, we have a microwave on board. And then as we come up, very, very spacious, lots of seating here for five people at your dining or at your dinette. Uh, but what's also nice is this seat here, though it's part of your dinette, also folds back and up so that when you and the captain are cruising, if you want to have a place to enjoy a snack, you can do that. Uh, but you can also enjoy this beautiful view because we have this all around wrap around glass uh, uh, windshield. So lots of good natural light, but also an opportunity to be able to see all around the pretty much 360 degrees of this door. So as we discussed, the uh, this table will drop down and turn into a bunk. So just pop these two clamps here, the entire table pushes down. And once you have it completely down, there's a cushion down below inside the three quarter berth that rests right on top of here. You can enjoy this like a couch. Uh, it's a bunk, so you can actually sleep, but also you have this TV forward that will drop down so that you can enjoy a cocktail or a cup of coffee in the evening and watch the television in the morning. All right, continuing forward. Um, don't want to miss an opportunity to talk about the Fusion stereo system on board. It's multiple zones, programmable through your run and display. Uh, the 31 has valley and stern thrusters, very convenient and provides for exceptionally easy docking and undocking and uh, moving in the side of confined spaces and marinas. And then coming forward, you get the Volvo Penta diesel on board. Um, you got the home station. And coming up, you got the Garmin autopilot display. You've got the Volvo engine uh, control monitor, so you can be kind of you know, monitoring your, your uh, motor as you're on the way, make sure there's no issues, and, and checking your RPMs and temperatures. This light here is actually very convenient when you're um, side saddle seats I showed you earlier, when those are deployed, it releases a micro switch and that switch will turn this light on so you don't inadvertently get underway and strike the pier with one of your uh, outside seats. You want those stowed for seat. And then lastly, you've got your VHF FM radio, um, which is a great convenience to have on board, certainly for longer voyages. And quickly in Garmin is the distress button. So you register for an MMSI number. And once that's input into this Garmin radio, if anything goes wrong, all you have to do is push the distress button and it'll send an emergency alert out to the Coast Guard and not everyone around you with your position, your name, the name of your boat, on any other information register. Before we head down below, I want to point out that this boat is also equipped with a wine cooler. So you can keep a nice bottle of champagne or rosé uh, chilled and ready for uh, popping and celebrating your uh, first maiden voyage on your new boat. 
first thing you'll come to is the full wet head with the toilet and it's got the macerator and also a nice size sink for washing your hands, brushing your teeth, this big shower. All right, so one thing I'd like to also point out is lots of head space. When you come in and out of the head, don't have to duck your head. An average size adult will be able to come in and out and not have to duck or, or tuck their head around. Uh, fluid motion puts a lot of energy and effort into their ranger tugs, ensuring that the maximum amount of space and convenience is available to include headroom. Lots and lots of headroom in all of the space on board. It's very, very nice. Another thing about the bed that I really like to point out, very big. Two adults can sleep on here very comfortably. When you're getting in and out of the bed, you have a nice place on both sides to rest your feet for a minute. Um, so that you don't feel like you have to jump in the bed, but also in the morning you wake up and you want to put your feet down for a second and just wake up. On this side, we have a nice little fold down table so that whoever's on this side of the bed, they have place, you know, place their things, lay your iPad at night or your phone or books. Um, you have storage all the way around, shelving all the way around the, the, uh, the bed. You got the television that has a remote control. You got the Fusion stereo controller down here so you can make changes while you're down inside. And also there's your thermostat. It is very cold in here right now. Big, big pantry for you. Store all of your personal things. You can put your clothes in there, but it's also another place you can put lots of uh, food and other dry goods for your voyage. And then above it, very open and easy access to all of your electronics at the home station. So if there's ever any issues, the minute you have a problem with any of your electronics, you want to go straight to the fuse panel. It's easily accessible. Lots of space to move around in. You're not, you know, contorting yourself to reach anything. It's just right there. Very, very convenient. When you have I do want to show you underneath this entire bed is storage. These all lift up in sections. There's two big sections here that will lift up out of the way for you. Um, lots of storage down below. I'm going to disassemble the entire bed, but you can pack for a month uh, of clothes and, and laundry and other uh, other supplies for the trip. And then also forward on the bigger section is where you would access your bow thruster in case you had uh, a shear pin or any other issues with your bow thruster. It's, it's right inside of a well. It's very easy to access. You take that top cover off. You're not having to take the boat apart. You're not removing hardware to access it. It's just readily available. All right. So now that we've seen all of the amazing features of the interior of the boat. Let's go up to the bow. We have this very convenient side access door so the captain can open the door, slide it. And uh, as you're docking, all of the fluid motion boats, the Range 31 being a great uh, example, the captain will always have immediate access to a cleat. You can always tie this boat off by yourself from the helm. You don't have to leave the, the helm station just to get your first line on the dock. I think that's a very, very important uh, safety feature and makes the, the, uh, the captain's job a lot easier. So now that we're up on the bow, uh, we'll start working our way aft, but the first thing I'll point out, you've got this nice anchor. It's got a powered windlass. You have controls for the windlass, both up forward, so you can be up here watching, using your foot or your fingers to push each of the, uh, the switches. Um, you've got a nice big open chain locker with all of your line. It will readily stow into the locker as you uh, take the uh, as you pull the anchor. First thing I'll point out, you have the uh, this stanchion here. You can actually install the post, and there's a table down below that will set on top of the post right here. You have this nice chair. You can sit up and lounge and enjoy the evening while you're sitting on the hook. The Garmin radar option is installed. You've got the searchlight. That's controllable down below and there's a remote control. Very, very bright. It even has an SOS setting. So all you do is hit the SOS button and it will send the letters SOS and Morse code in the flash. And then you got the KBH track vision TV receiver. This is the 31 sedan. Um, one thing to know is that there's also the command bridge model that you can order. Um, so the command bridge, bridge option would have another deck up top. You'll have a side access stairwell to go up to the uh, to the command bridge and you'll have your full control station that you have at the home. All right, folks, thank you very much. My name is Josh Miller with Pocket Yachts again, and it was a great pleasure to show you the Ranger Tugs 31 sedan. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Please look us up online, pocketyacht.com, and give us a call. We'd love to hear.